Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem. Hey, everyone, Matt the Napoli here. Welcome to episode 139 of Snack Minute. Um, you guys might have uh, joined us for episode 136, where we had Brandon uh, join us and talk about the uh, Enterprise Network Assurance uh, course content and potentially, I, I think we talked about the exam too. Did we talk about the exam, Kareem? Yeah, we mentioned, we talked about the blueprint. And in that conversation, uh, Brandon hinted at some cool lab stuff that we, uh, we'd be doing, and we got all excited about it. So we wanted to have him back pretty quickly uh, so he could show us what's going on in the lab and maybe demo a little bit of it. So, Brandon, I'm going to turn it over to you. You could intro yourself real quickly um, and then hop right into it. Oh, sure. Well, thank you. Yeah, once again, Brandon Cross, uh, I work within, um, well, I guess I should say I'm a content developer, and I work within a team on learning and certifications. And as you mentioned, I would like to uh, just talk a little bit about the labs that are within the designing and implementing Enterprise Network Assurance course. And so what you're looking at right here is the overall topology for the labs. Uh, so uh, the learner really gets to work with various network assurance platforms, right? The course is all about network assurance. Got to work with these uh, different platforms, right? And so you can see the platforms here. We have Cisco Thousand Eyes. We'll take a look at that in here in a second. Uh, but the majority of the labs, this is the big focus of the course. It's where the majority of the labs are. They're working with this platform. Uh, but also um, get to work with uh, the Meraki assurance uh, things, so such as Meraki Health and then Meraki Insight. Um, we also have an SD-WAN analytics course, which uses our deep cloud infrastructure. And then we also have a Catalyst Center um, simulation that's kind of off in its own space here. Uh, but uh, from the learner's perspective, we'll really uh, focus or we'll work mainly with this lab PC you see here. So it's kind of expanded here on the left-hand side. Uh, it's, it, think of it as a jump host or a bastion host into our lab environment. And so when someone spins up a lab, you get access to this Windows 10 VM. It has all the right permissions and applications that you need to perform the labs. And um, so also when you spin up that lab, you also get a set of credentials, a set of credentials to actually access these, these platforms, these cloud platforms, right? That's uh, one thing that I just want to very quickly, if I can slide my screen over here, just to show uh, people who are interested in what you're actually working with. Uh, you're working with the real stuff, right? So when your lab spins up, you're actually getting in the back end, there's uh, some uh, accounts being created and all that good stuff. Uh, certain things are getting provisioned there, and then you're given the credentials to actually log into the real platforms. So you basically, you can see here, we're on that Windows 10 jump host. And uh, essentially, a lot of these labs, one of the first steps, open a web browser, log into one of these platforms. So you can see here, we're in Cisco Thousand Eyes. Uh, you can create you know, various tests, work with the different endpoint agents or enterprise agents, whatever it may be. Um, so that's with for the Thousand Eyes Labs. We'll be working within that, that uh, um, platform, that uh, interface you see there. Um, when it comes to the Meraki-based labs, you'll see an interface like this. You uh, have some full access where you can uh, configure uh, MX device, switch access points. Uh, we also give you some read-only access to certain networks uh, that you see here where you can, uh, we have some things pre-staged so that uh, you get some nice information when uh, working with um, Rocky Health and Rocky Insights. And so uh, that's what we have there for the Rocky Labs. And this is what the um, SD-WAN analytics uh, interface looks like, right? It's also, you just, once again, you just get a set of credentials, you log in, and then you can perform all the, the lab steps that you see. But anyhow, that was just a quick uh, view of the things you get to interface and work with. Um, here are the labs that uh, are actually within the course. We have 13 hands-on labs. Uh, so a lot of uh, good stuff here. We have an introductory lab uh, it in regards to Cisco Catalyst Assurance. We have another introductory lab on uh, Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN Analytics. We have various labs on Cisco Thousand Eyes. So really take a deep uh, look at uh, uh, Cisco Thousand Eyes. You basically can perform any tasks uh, that the platform uh, you're able to do on that platform. And so you can see here, we got, well, I don't know what that is, but that's a handful of them. Uh, and then we also have uh, some Rocky Assurance labs. And so um, this would, involves using the Meraki dashboard, you're looking at enabling alerts, using uh, Meraki Health, and there's, there's a lab dedicated specifically to Meraki Insights. 
So that's just uh, a quick view of what's in the course. Uh, once again, 13 labs. But uh, here is the uh, recap of the uh, Cisco U learning path that I spoke about uh, in the earlier uh, snack minute. But uh, you can see here that I have one track uh, in uh, highlighted. And so this track, uh, I believe by the time this stack minute gets released, this uh, so end of the month, uh, this track will also be released and it's uh, free for anyone who wants to uh, get an early preview of this course. And you can work with those labs that I was just sp speaking about, or a, a, a set of them, the ones that you see uh, here within these uh, courses. So I have, a, I have a question about the lab environments for Catalyst Center and the SD-WAN Assurance. Um, are there actual hardware devices uh, tied to those, or is it an instance of CML? When it comes to the Catalyst Assurance Lab, right now we just have a simulation, so it's it's mm, it has the kind of look and feel of real hardware, but it's not the real thing. But uh, in a later release, we are planning on making that real hardware. Um, now, when oh, it comes cool. to the okay. SD WAN Assurance, yeah, it's it's uh, uh, there's various infrastructure behind that. Oh, that, that's cool. Um, it's always fun to, to touch on real hardware for these I think, things. I think the biggest thing for me is all these labs in a network assurance course. I think, you know, anytime we talk about assurance, we, we talk about data, we talk about slicing it and dicing it and being able to see reports and what's happening with your network and all of this. And without these labs, I'm not sure how you could actually get certified um, on the, on the actual assurance piece of uh, um, as a specialist, so this is uh, to me it's it's a uh, it's a big part of it, and I'm I'm actually definitely looking. This is one of the exams I'm going to be attempting in my next Cisco Live, so uh, I'll definitely be doing this. Um, Brandon, I wanted to ask you, with I'm assuming it's the same style as what we you know our snackers have been learned uh, uh, have been. Um, used to from a lab uh, environment as far as they get their lab guide and then they get the infrastructure and then they do that task. Is that, is that how it rolls for this? Exactly. Yep. Yep. So you get, uh, you know, all like, um, it all depends what uh, platform you're using. If you're within Cisco U, since we're talking about that, yes, all the lab instructions will be there right in Cisco U where you can just uh, follow the various lab steps. There's step helps if you need that where you can see, okay, I don't know how to perform this task. Let's take a deeper look at how we can do that. And um, yes, you're obviously given access to the lab environments that uh, I just uh, demoed. Yeah. Hey, Brandon, uh, could you do me a favor and go back to the list of labs that you were showing us earlier? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Um, I just wanted to, so in these labs, um, I just wanted to get a feel for the activities that that we've got going on. So troubleshooting the health of network devices in Cal. Okay. Um, interesting, interesting. Because Kareem, I know that you um, probably were thinking the same thing too. <laughs> um, there's a point where we could potentially leverage the enterprise network assurance lab environments in the in the labs themselves and extend them with a little bit of um, API usage and automation potentially. Because uh, yeah. I the idea was triggered on that Thousand Eyes one where it says build a dashboard, and I believe that's within the Thousand Eyes interface itself. Um, but in theory, we could um, we could work together, you know, us and DevNet putting something together that would uh, extend the capability of these labs and really look at building something uh, holistic across the Catalyst Center, SD-WAN, Thousand Eyes, and Meraki. Uh, that would be really, really fun to do, too. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a fun project. I think um, I've seen something from Jason Davis that does something very similar, I think, on um that he uses for the Cisco Live knock um oh, where yes, it aggregates mm -hmm. all of the the data from the different platforms into one giant dashboard and does some magic to it so yeah but I mean, the cool thing about this the the course material here and the and the exam is that all that stuff that he does for yeah. The Cisco knock and, and I believe we actually have some videos of that on the uh, Cisco DevNet YouTube channel, Snackers. Um, all of the underlying uh, technologies and understanding is actually included in this course material. So if you saw that end result and went, how did he do that? Um, this is the baseline for that, uh, which is really cool. 
Um, Brandon, unfortunately, we are out of time. Um, this was great. Thank you for coming back and kind of cluing us into what the labs will look like and what people can expect when they go through the course material. This is fantastic. And uh, Snackers, uh, we will catch you next week. Don't forget to check out track one of the Network Assurance Learning Path on Cisco U. Um, I know I'm looking for it. Thank you. Thank you, Snackers, and thank you, Brandon. Thank you.